designed to improve people's health, even if they don't want it. Governor Schwarzenegger signed legislation today making California the first state in the nation to ban restaurants from using trans fats. KTV's Amber Lee live in San Francisco, where some people say the government is overstepping its authority. Amber? Gosh, yeah, most people know that too much trans fat is bad for your heart, but not everyone supports this new law banning it from all restaurants statewide. So these are boiled red new potatoes that we cool and then hand smash, and then we finish them in 100% peanut oil. In San Francisco's trendy Valencia Corridor, the restaurant Spork serves what its owners call New American Food. It occupies a site that was once a Kentucky Fried Chicken store. But Bruce Bin, Spork's owner and chef, says all the frying now is done without trans fat. Still, he opposes a ban. I think that it should be up to the, the, uh, the, the business uh, owner to make that choice of what that they want to use. By January 2010, California restaurants need to eliminate oil, margarine, or shortening containing trans fats used in frying. By 2011, they need to eliminate it from baked goods as well. Trans fat is strictly a convenience issue. Dr. Junad Khan is president of the American Heart Association. He lobbied in support of the ban. Khan says trans fat is used primarily to increase the shelf life of food products and is extremely unhealthy. Trans fats lead to increased cholesterol, which leads to coronary disease, which, as you know, is the number one killer in California. But several people we spoke with who told us they're very health conscious had differing opinions about whether the ban is a good idea. I know that I try to eat as healthy as I can, but I know there are a lot of people in my community who may be less informed, who may not know to read the label for the trans fat or whatever other issues may be. And you're thinking this law will help them. I'm hoping that it will. I don't think it's right that they're imposing a law to say that what, you know, what someone can and can't sell as far as food goes. I just think that's not, it's not right. Dr. Khan says it was not until the 1990s that health experts realized the harm caused by trans fats. He says many restaurants, including fast food chains, have already reduced or stopped using trans fat. If you want to cook something at home, go ahead. But when you go out in a public environment, I think you have a right to expect that the government is going to protect you. And I think that's what the governor has done today. Restaurants that violate the new law will face fines starting at $25 and ranging up to $1,000. Food items sold in their manufacturer's sealed packaging is exempt. Reporting live in San Francisco, Amber Lee, K